everyone. I think we're ready to start. Uh, welcome to my piano studio recital, and thank you all for coming. I could not do this just by myself, so I would like to start by saying thank you to all my students who worked very hard to prepare this program. And I also want to thank all the parents for all the support, so thank you. Uh, the way our recital is going to go today, uh, everyone is going to play, which is normal. Uh, but then I got this new idea when I judged for a competition in Waco this year in, in June. And each student had to present himself and say something about what he's going to play. So I really enjoyed that idea and I want to apply it today. It's the first time when we do this, so hopefully it's going to work. Uh, each of my students, you know, will tell us something about the piece they are playing. So I, I really wanted to use this time, you know, as a moment where we can also learn something about that piece or the composer. So uh, I hope you will support all of them. Uh, if you didn't turn off your cell phones yet, this is the perfect moment to do so, please. And then we want to treat each performance, you know, like it would be ours. So we need to respect all of us. The first half of the program will be general theme pieces, like we did last year. Uh, we're going to have a very short intermission, about five minutes, and then we're going to get to the second part where we're going to have Christmas songs. Uh, I'm not going to present anything because all of you have the programs, so I guess we're ready to start, right? I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
sure. Um, in Captain Hook's Rockin' Party, you have a lot of eight notes. Eight notes are when you play two notes very fast and not disconnected.
a German folk song named Light the Room. And it can be played by different kinds of instruments like um, harp, violin, cell.
facial expression from happy to sad or performing tricks and being funny the whole time. The happy parts are represented by major harmonies. The sad parts are represented by minor chords. The staccato shows the clown doing tricks. Every note, dynamic, and rhythm show attributes of a clown, which is why this piece is called the clown. The second piece I'm going to play for you today is called Song of Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro is the tallest mountain in Africa. It is 19,321 feet tall. When you're climbing a mountain, some parts of the mountain will be easier to climb than others, so you'll be able to climb them faster. This is shown by part B being faster than part A. Also, when you're climbing a mountain, sometimes you'll get tired, so you won't be able to play as fast. This is shown when the composer puts a whole note into the piece. Thank you. I hope you enjoy my performance. Thank you. 
Debussy was a Frenchman who's actually living in Italy while he had the inspiration for this piece. And you also hear there are some influences from several different romantic composers such as Schumann. Thank you.
intermission, and then we're gonna start the second half with uh, the Christmas song. <laughs> 